Now, as many people would probably be aware of, um, especially if you're if you're a subscriber, um, that uh, I've been having problems with uh, my hosting service. Now, I, I need to mention here that I've been with Hostinger for now close to two years, um, and I never never really had a problem. And the reason was because nothing really went wrong. Now, they advertise a 99.99% uptime. But the wrap time is close to like 85% because I have Jetpack and Jetpack keeps sending me messages that the server is down. And there's only one time that I got, got an email from them saying that the servers would be down for maintenance. Um, otherwise, the servers would just sporadically go down. Now, but I never really had a problem and my website was small. I started it as a small project. And the reason I chose them was that there was an offer and I would go ahead and get the offer. And you know, my thing was that even when my website grew, I would just upgrade to a better plan. So fast forward to uh, two days ago and uh, I, my SSL certificate expired. I was not aware of it. I managed many websites. So I got an email from my uh, payment processor and the payment processor said that your website is not working and we're, we're stopping processing payments until your website is up and running again. So I thought it was strange. I went ahead and I fired up my browser, went to my website and I saw um, that website was w working perfectly. Um, but I noticed that my SSL certificate was, uh, was not valid. Um, I tried uh, Google PageSpeed uh, Insights and that would not even work because again, it would give me the certificate error. Um, and then I have, if I use another browser or another computer, um, it, it would give me an error saying that, you know, this website is malicious because, because the certificate does not exist or it, ex it has expired. So, uh, I went ahead, I, I, I logged into my, uh, into my panel. I host two websites with uh, two domains with Hostinger. Uh, and I saw that one domain was showing, but my domain that had the expired SSL was not. Uh, and so I, I contacted support after looking through their, after looking through the entire system and, you know, tried trying to find what I wanted. I, I contacted support as anyone would, um, went ahead and hit chat and I waited. Um, and that's when all, all hell broke loose. Um, so guys, if you like the video, like, and subscribe, um, I know this is not an ed educational video. Uh, but maybe someone will find this uh, useful and helpful uh, if they deal with hosting services. At least I found this ed educational um, because I'm not going to make the same mistake again. And I'll tell you about what mistakes I've made. Um, so after I contacted Chad, an hour later, I just never got a response. So I went ahead and I contacted him on Facebook. I said, you know what? Why aren't you guys not responding? Initially, there was a there was a bot that responded and then there was a real person that said, I'm sorry and you know, our services are busy, um, how can I help you? And then from there, they asked me to uh, email them the problem. I emailed them, I told them. Uh, what happened has been that uh, my domain has disappeared from my uh, H panel. And you know, I, I don't know what's, what, what's going on. And then uh, I get an email back saying that um, your domain is pointing to, and my domain is hosted with uh, GoDaddy. So my domain, domain is pointing to a hosting service, um, another hosting service. And um, they said, you know, they sent me like an email address that belongs to this person and it has Sterix. So, you know, it's like S and Sterix, Sterix and six Sterix or something. And I said, I don't have an email address that looks like that. So they went ahead and said, all right, so we'll go ahead and if you prove that you're the owner of the domain, we'll go ahead and transfer it over to um, your current hosting service. So we need an invoice and you last paid for the domain. And we would also like um, that you'd send us like a, a DNS zone kind of screenshot. Um, so I said, okay, fine. So I went ahead and you know took the screenshots and sent it over um, to them. And I said, you know, here's it. And I asked them, you know, if you transfer the do if you're transferring um, the domain, uh, will will the um, website transfer as well? And she said, no, it's just not going to happen. And I said, can you do it? And we were communicating on email. I said, you know, it's very important that my WordPress website um, gets transferred um, too because I mean, I'm, it's 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 a two year old website and it's making me it's making me a lot of money. So 
She said, no, it's, it's, uh, it's not possible. You can back up your WordPress uh, from where you are and then you can try to store it. Uh, I think it was something to that effect. So I went ahead and I, I backed up my WordPress um, using, um, I think it was called Updraft or something, Updraft, I guess, uh, the plugin Updraft. And I went ahead and it, it, it backed up uh, my WordPress installation. Um, they moved my domain. And then when I tried to restore from Updraft, um, it said, it would, you know, the, the backup installation was not, uh, the backup files were not valid, um, even though I had done it directly from Updraft. And it was just an hour or two hours later. Um, I then contacted support and I said, you know, you guys have moved my domain, but, you know, my, my, my WordPress is not working and I can't restore it. Uh, and so uh, there was a back, there was a big bit of back, back and forth because they couldn't understand what I wanted. Um, and then finally, um, there was a support person uh, who then sent me um, the backup files for my installation. And there were quite a few files. Um, and there were instructions on how I could restore. But the problem with those instructions is that if you use, um, for instance, there as a, and I got a screenshot here. Now, if you use their uh, backups uh, option, um, this just has a limit of 256 uh, MB. Now in this day and age, you've got a limit of 256 MB. So this is, this is, this option does not work. Um, so this, my, my smallest file was like around 100 MB. Um, and that was a, it, that was a uh, PHP file. But my website was like close to uh, 800 MB. So it would not work over here. Um, so then I contacted support and they asked me to use the, there was another option in beta version and they said they use that. I went ahead and I used the, tried using the one, the beta version. I uploaded as they recommended, I uploaded the file, um, and I extracted it as exactly as they asked me to, and it did not work. And, um, it was now, I was now 14, 15 hours into this, um, because they take forever to respond. Um, and chat does not work. So at that point, I'm like, okay, so what do I do now? So I contact support and now there's this new guy. This is the third new guy, by the way. And he's just sending me canned messages. I asked him, you know, I'm having a problem. He'd send me a canned message. I said, I've kind of, I have uploaded my file, extracted it. He would send me another canned message. But the same thing over and over again, quite literally, um, the same instructions. And it just, it was, it just came to the point where, where it had, had become extremely frustrating. Um, and then after I was frustrated with that guy, then there was another lady that came on, um, and she wouldn't, she started communicating, communicating with me via email. And then after quite a bit of back and forth, um, she was like, all right, so why don't you just, you know, submit your files, um, and we, um, we, we, we'll do it for you. It'll take 48 hours. Um, and in between, I mean, now this is what was started at like seven in the evening, my time, it was now, uh, eight in the morning, um, nine in the morning, as a matter of fact. So I had, I had been up all night, um, trying to fix this. And so finally, um, you know, she said, just go ahead and follow the instructions as all of this and upload, uh, and put in a request. And when I put in a request, I get an error. I put in a request again, I get an error message. So as it turns out, um, you know, I can, I'm only limited to one database. I can have unlimited websites on my host, but uh, I'm limited to one database and I'll get back to that soon. So I asked her, what the hell do I do now? And she says, oh, oh yeah, it's true, you've only allowed one database. I'm not sure how the database is connected to putting in a request or a ticket to, you know, just, you know, just restore my website from, from a backup. So I went ahead and, you know, she went ahead and deleted my database or something. Well, I did it myself. I don't remember. Um, and then I went ahead and put in a request and now it's 48 hours and it's not 48 hours. It's like 24 hours since I put in the request and there's no response yet. So in the meantime, I went ahead and I got a hold of another hosting service and the hosting service said that we, we can do it for you and we can do it for you in a couple of hours. If you sign up for a hosting service, I was one of the services that was recommended in the comment section that I posted a screenshot and um, they were able to recover my website um, within a few hours and 
I had my I pointed my domain to the new uh, host, and and that's that was propagated. Uh, you know, just this morning I checked and my website was up. So the two three lessons here for us um, as people who, who 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 run websites, who run blogs, is a I mean never go for a cheap hosting service. Now, not only is the hosting service cheap, but the customer service is cheap. So they have people but they're probably overburdened and they're not well trained they're not even they're not even aware of their own system and that's the first problem so the customer service may work but it's not it's not as good as it should be they've got more customers than they can handle and that's bad news um, the second problem is that um, the their system does not work so the H panel is is highly limiting um, you can restore from backup you can't have a website transfer. There are limitations on the number of, you know, on the file size. There are limitations on the type of website. There, there are all kinds of limitations. And those limitations, just, I mean, they're just ridiculous because every second person has a WordPress website. Every second person has graphics on their website. Every, and then the, the average backup is not going to be uh, 2 MB or 3 MB or even 256 MB. It's not, it's not going to be that way. So it's, it's just pointless. It's just features on a feature list to attract new people um, to which does not work. So the, uh, the third problem is, and this is something I should have been aware of, is that all of these hosting services, let's say, advertise, you can you buy this, uh, let's say it's $10 a month, and you get to host unlimited websites. Yeah, sure, you can host unlimited websites, but the domain, but the hosting, uh, the host can only host two databases which means you if you're running wordpress you can't run more than two wordpress installations and that's it so the unlimited is just a slick marketing tactic um and so if if you look if you buy a, a hosting package and it says unlimited websites check how many um databases you can host on there and before you sign up and before you have four or five websites pointing to uh, the pointing to the host because as I learned the hard way um, it's 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 like marketing um, so guys um, just be aware before you you know sign up for any host is you know if you you know try to do your research and don't search online because a lot of these hosting servers even hosting or has great reviews online which I suspect now is our fake reviews and all reviews by people who have not really used the service much, but they somehow had a good they had a good relationship with someone at the company. I mean, their problem got fixed ASAP, so they're happy. They left them a good review because they keep bugging you for a review. Um, but it's not a great service. Um, but for the price, um, I don't know. I mean, for me, I mean, it's my website was making me. So for me, it's 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 not a great service um, because I have lost a lot of time. And I'm also losing a lot of rankings. It will take me some some time and effort to to recover my rankings, um, and so I should I shouldn't have not cheaped out on hosting. And I think that's that's the lesson for all of us over here. So guys, if you like the video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next.